Hey, what's up guys? James from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining me. And as you saw in the title, there's an everyday carry update. So for those of you who don't know, everyday carry is the things you carry on you. And of course, those things are going to be changing depending on the season, what you do for your job, uh, this and that. You know, if you got new gear or you're alternating between certain gear. Uh, this channel, we do test some stuff. I wouldn't say that we're a gear review channel, but once in a while we will. So of course, that's going to influence me as well. So we're in November. It's winter time. Uh, we're overdue for an update. So thank you for joining me. Let's get started. Okay, so let's take it from the top and work our way down. So the first thing you notice is my Brixton Thorpe 2 hat. I really love this hat. Now it's 100% cotton, so it's middle of the road for everything. Whether it's it's cold and I need you know to keep my head warm, or it's warm and I need to keep that sun off my face or keep the glare out of my eyes when I'm hunting, this works for that. Not too hot, not too cold, the perfect middle. Um, other than that, very simple hat. Um, I did put a little Yuko Stormproof Match right there. Uh, these things are awesome. It's a good little fire starter, but at the same time, I just like it for aesthetics. And that's about it. Now, I get a ton of questions on this hat. You know, where do you buy it? All this. Uh, unfortunately, it appears that this hat is discontinued. In case that changes, I will make a post about it or, you know, update you guys in some form. But as of right now, I do believe they don't make this hat anymore, unfortunately. But, um, but yeah, I like it. Not the prettiest thing. It won't be winning any beauty contests. Uh, but uh, Old Faithful right here. Other than that, of course, I have my bandana, a very simple old bandana. I've had this one for like six years, cotton. And of course, in today's society, not only does this help keep me warm or whatever use I would need a bandana for, but you know, it's my mask if I have to go, go to the grocery store, the gas station, so on and so forth. Okay, so being the colder months, I am wearing a coat. Now, this is just a simple jean jacket. Um, I live in West Texas, so it's not that cold. You know, I, I got I get pretty lucky when it comes to that. Now, some days it is very windy and dreary and miserable, and other days it feels like we're back in June. So a jean jacket's just perfect for the middle of the road. Now, in, in case I am, you know, winter camping, you know, and they're snowing, obviously this isn't going to be my choice. Uh, I would go back to my brown wool coat that I showed you guys in last year's uh, winter EDC update. But pretty simple. I like it. I got it actually for my Anton Sugar costume for last year's Halloween uh, video. And that's about it. I don't really carry much on here. Um, in here, I will place my gloves if I don't need them. These are minus 33 wool gloves. And uh, I like them fingerless so I could still do things without affecting my dexterity. And then in case I'm not using them, like majority of the time, you know, we're, we're in New Mexico right now. But normally if I'm back in back home... I will just put them away in here and that's it so I have them in case I need to um, but it's it's fairly lightweight it's very uh, fair weather clothing right here but it gets the job done right now okay so let's move on down to the belt where the majority of all the cool stuff's at so first things first folks is my keys now of course everybody carries keys I'm not cutlery lover I don't like to have a hundred different gizmos on mine I like to keep it simple uh, the only thing I did add here is a small military can opener I don't believe this is the p38 uh, I'll annotate below which one it is now the reason I added this is because I am putting the multi-tool on the back seat for now it's just a little clunky I don't use it that often so uh, in case I do need a can opener right away I have it right here other than that I have a small trinket that Cuervo Negro made me and this is a small leather trinket he made uh, last year I did shoot a rattlesnake and I cooked it and he saved those 22 shells right there and he made this for me and I just consider it something like good luck for future hunts uh, but once again other than that fairly simplistic moving on to my pocket the through night t1 flashlight I love this thing this thing is excellent for everyday carry i mean it's small where it's not too obtrusive not too heavy but it packs a punch it's really strong and not only that but it's usb rechargeable um so it's going to save you in the long run with batteries and then of course the back is magnetized so if i'm working on something uh, i could place this against something metal and it'll hold it for me uh, that's come in handy several times so love this flashlight we have a review so check it out right here in this pocket i do have my big lighter 
nothing too fancy of course now you can carry a zippo or an exotac or something like this but everybody whether you're a smoker or not everybody should have a lighter of course quick form of combustion ignition moving on to my butt pocket is my new wallet now this was made by a viewer and a patron of mine named james howard he goes by 610 and he made this for me and this this was just so awesome so james thank you so much i am loving this and uh, of course i'm not going to show my information here but it's fairly simplistic but at the same time it takes care of what i need and it's not too bulky my old wallet i hated my old wallet you can ask Werwo. i'd always complain about it because it's just it was bulky and then you know driving two or three hours you know during camping trips and stuff it was uncomfortable so this is much better and of course it's handcrafted by someone so that means a lot more to me of course than you know a wallet i bought at target so once again james howard thank you so much brother i am loving it moving to my left side left back pocket is my bandana now, of course, I already have a bandana around my neck, but I kind of saved that one really just as a face mask. This was the one that I'm going to be using when out in the field. Oh, I have it upside down. And uh, this is the Junkyard Fox bandanas that we made this year. Now, this one was a reject. I ended up having to sell mine, my original one, uh, because they sold so quickly. And with every batch that we make, there's always about two or three that don't come out right. They're not necessarily bad, but they just weren't looking as good as the other ones and i apologize for the wind this one came out a little gray more gray than white like this fox and so i decided to not sell this one i didn't feel comfortable selling it and i just kept it for me once again these bandanas are meant to be used you know you wipe your hands when you know when you're fishing and you know all that stuff so it's fine for me i'm not picky so my junkyard fox bandana and then in my front pocket i have just my uh chapstick nothing too particularly exciting but uh, i never leave home without it now moving on to the belt knife everybody's favorite edc subject so moving down here on my jre leather sheath is the snake eater knife so this knife for those of you who don't know is my design this was made by a gentleman named woody smith of wood steel knives and he just outdid himself i love this blade so much now this is prototype one so it is not the finalized look however it's like your firstborn child i i just love this blade so much and it's just closer to, to my original vision so uh aebl stainless steel 330 seconds inch thick blade scandinavian grind that uh, tapers down into a flat grind green micarta with red liners boba fett colors right there and a pommel once again, I love this blade and I've been using it like crazy since, you know, I've been testing it out, you know, and uh, providing Woody with feedback for the changes and stuff. I do have a little playlist with about five videos of me testing this blade in different things from filleting trout to making a container out of a cactus to boil water in and so forth. Uh, carving notches to make a deadfall trap. So I love this blade so much and this is what I've been carrying. As for the second blade that I've been using lately, well, at least this last month, is the second Snake Eater. So you saw the first prototype, of course, testing it out, you know, thinking of changes to make to just hone, de hone the design down. Uh, Woody made the second one, black JRE leather sheath. I mean, just look at this beauty. I mean, it, it retains the, the usual design you know, but there's been some changes. So uh, the biggest change is we added a little nub here for a finger guard. We did also make the handle a little larger, a stronger pommel, a thicker pommel over here. And over here on the blade, you see Woody's Woodpecker logo. And then on the back, you see the Junkyard Fox logo right there, and that's awesome. So whenever we do make a small batch of these for sale, they will have both logos, the Woodpecker and the Fox. And this one has black micarta with orange liners. And Cuervo got to choose these colors because this knife will eventually become Cuervo's. Once I'm done testing with it, uh, it's going to be his blade. So he got to choose the colors. And uh, yeah, just beautiful blade. And I'm pretty certain I'm fairly confident. Uh, I'm sorry, confident that I've tested this enough where I know what the final design is going to be. So uh, these are the two blades that I've been using. Let me just give you guys a comparison right there. Hey, 
and last but not least are my boots because I've gotten a ton of questions on them. So looking down here, I'm not wearing my signature cowboy boots with the spurs that I normally do. Uh, this year, I kind of really started wearing these a lot. Now these are just uh, Dockers leather Chelsea boots. So they're fairly short, very simple to put on, slip on and off. And I've gotten a ton of questions in all these videos this year, you know, where are your cowboy boots, where are your spurs? And here, here's the reason why I haven't been wearing those boots, guys, is uh, it, it was accidental, is, you know, COVID happened, we were in quarantine, so, I mean, there was days where I was wearing just socks for days at a time because we were stuck at home, you know, so I got in the habit of not wearing my heavy boots that I have a boot knife and, and cordage on them. Um, and eventually I just ended up buying something a little bit more convenient to just uh, slip on, go to the grocery store, come home, remove them. And I, it ju I just got in this habit accident accidentally of just liking these a little better in terms of uh, they're just more convenient and they're lighter to wear as well. I still love my cowboy boots. I still wear them, but I don't wear them every day like I used to. I will eventually because these, of course, are not as strong or as durable. They're already kind of starting to show a lot of wear. Uh, but yeah, that's the reason why COVID just got me a little lazy. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's my explanation. So that's about it on what I'm carrying. As you can tell, at least I, I feel like it. I'm kind of slimming down on what I'm carrying. And that's once again a big weakness for us preppers and everyday carry guys. We tend to over carry things in anticipation of the what if. But um, I don't know. I noticed I don't use my multi-tool Swiss Army knife. Swiss Army knife as often as I think I do so I kind of started leaving that one in my haversack or at home and um, Also like my belt pouch from the hidden woodsman stuff like that. So I'm less bulky uh, You know not as much stuff on my boots, but of course I still carry other stuff with me as well So of course I always carry a water container I have several canteens that I rotate and I always have a water as soon as I leave home I have a source of water with me um, and it's also less wasteful. I really don't like what buying water bottles and then throwing them away. So my canteen and then my hidden woodsman French trade bag. I have several haversacks from the hidden woodsman, but this one's my favorite. It's also the dirtiest and I feel that's why it makes me more comfortable to carry it every day. Cause I have some that are so pretty and I tend to baby them because I don't want to dirty them or scuff them up. So this one always you know it's my workhorse so a very brief summary on what I carry with me every time I leave home okay so a folding saw a small poncho in case it rains or snows and of course it could double as a small tarp in an emergency so I got more cutting tool a container a sec I'm, I'm sorry a secondary form of cover I have this Nightcore power bank. I just reviewed it last week. Uh, it's really great. I love it. I love how thin it is. And looking back at that video, I kind of feel like I came off a little too negative on it because I really, really like it. It is just pricey. That's really the only issue. But I uh, really carry this to power my cell phone. And of course, my cell phone is also part of my everyday carry. I have an iPhone 11, but I can't show it to you because we're using it to film. A metal cup. Of course, this cup is going to fit with my canteen. And of course, I could use this to boil water, make coffee, uh, whatever the case may be. Uh, but I can uh, use this for that. Now, this is a new flashlight from Through Night. They just sent to me just yesterday. So I still got to test this out and review it. But it is really strong. Now it's very large. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not. I'm not planning to carry this with me on my haversack because it's very bulky. But I am carrying it now for testing purposes. But once I'm comfortable with the testing, this is probably just gonna take a seat in my vehicle, my little center console, as my truck light. But uh, but yeah, for now, just for testing purposes. Ferro rod with the sheath, six-inch ferro rod making fire. My little ExoTac, what do you call this? The rip spool with tape and then line for sewing and repairs. As you can tell, I've used a ton of that tape. So I need to replace that soon. I have a review on that as well if you want to check it out. I have some paracord. So once again, if I find myself in an emergency that I do have to stay the night or whatever the case may be, I have cordage. 
and I have a, a little tarp that I can just improvise a small shelter if need be. And like I said, I've been leaving the multi-tool at home because it tends to be pretty heavy and I don't use it as much. So just in case I do need some pliers or something, here's the Leatherman Squirt. I mean the Leatherman Squirt PS4. I got some pliers in here. I got a couple of things. I got some scissors, you know, a couple of, you know, can opener and all that stuff. So um, good little multi-tool. And I just have it in here. Saves me some space from carrying more extra stuff in my belt. And lastly is this small Victorinox rod for honing up my blades. So if I'm out longer than expected or I put my blades through their paces and they're starting to feel a little dull, this will just hone them right up. This pocket right here has a plastic bag. My canteen cover. It can also double as a little plate. And then I have my charging cord for my batteries, I'm sorry, for my flashlight or for my lantern. So if I needed to charge my flashlight while out in the field, I got my power bank, connect this bad boy, and we're good to go. And lastly, up here in the front, one last pocket, flint and steel kit. And then a lighter with some tape. Okay, so that's it, folks. So as you saw, for the cold months, this is what I'm wearing. I feel like I'm slimming down of having to carry too extra much stuff that I really don't use that often. Now, of course, things will change. If I'm going to go camp up here for several days in the cold, of course, I'm going to get a stronger jacket. I might some, switch some stuff around, get my stronger boots, I'll put some hand warmers in my haversack. So, of course, things will always fluctuate. But for the most part, this is what I'm carrying most likely on average. Uh, so yeah, stuff that I'm carrying with me, on me, everyone should have some form of water container, and of course, my haversack. Now, my haversack is not the end-all, be-all, meant to be an ultimate bug-out bag. That's not what it's meant to do, but if I'm out hiking or camping and I get lost or injured, uh, whatever the case may be, a, a natural disaster happens, I have at least the basics that'll help me. I have several forms to make fire. I have a way to make a small shelter, ways to boil food or cook, uh, I'm sorry, boil water or cook food, uh, a flashlight, chargers, that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, that's normally what I'm carrying with me. So if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any questions, suggestions, what are you carrying? What are you switching around for the cold months? And that's about it for me, guys. So thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next week. Now go outside and get your boots dirty.